Okay, so let's practice some uh, fading in and fading out. We have here in Premiere Pro CS6, I'm going to grab the second picture here, and I'm going to drag it down to a Video 2 layer. So essentially, we have uh, two pictures uh, ending at the same time, but of course, we only see one of these pictures. If I hide Video 2 layer, you see that this is the water picture, but because we have two layers, it's kind of a Photoshop-y concept, uh, this uh, higher video layer is covering the video one layer. And if I actually drag this video layer down and then click on this video, uh, this picture here, this picture video is kind of the same concept, you can see that if I hide this picture, the video two layer is actually higher than the video one layer, so therefore it's covering it. However, if you hit the little drop-down triangle here, and uh, you can even uh, move your mouse around until you see this little uh, icon change and you can ch give yourself some more room to see the, all the layers. You can actually uh, see this yellow line. So if I just hit this collapse button and then open expand it, you'll see a yellow line. And the default setting that we're modifying if you hover over the uh, yellow line is the opacity and see how we're dragging it a little bit to make it see through and we go to the video one layer you you look at that little tiny change in icon and you grab that and drag it down to around 50 percent and we essentially see uh, half of each vid video or picture layer so this is interesting how we can play around with opacity settings let me drag that back up again to 100 percent click and drag on the yellow line drag it up to 100 percent now let's practice something else so i'm going to just uh, forget about the video two layer for now click and drag to bring it back to the video one layer. I'm going to play around with uh, the actual fading out effect. So if you drag the current time indicator, let's say near the end here, and uh, and you click on the effects controls uh, tab up here, you can see that uh, we're focusing on this wallpaper 2 image, or it could also be a video, <clears throat> and we're going to play around with the opacity setting. So if you click on the opacity drop down box, notice how you see there's a little uh, diamond uh, button here. It's added remove keyframe. So let's press it once. Let's uh, drag the little current time indicator to the right a bit. And let's hit it one more time. Notice how we actually uh, created two keyframes here. Right now, at this point, the opacity is 100%, whereas at this keyframe, you can actually click on it and pull it down to make it uh, fade out completely. So now as I scrub through the video, you can see that one picture is fading out. And in fact, you can actually go back and change the location of these keyframes to make the uh, fade out more gradual and slow longer in duration. Isn't that interesting? So as one picture is fading out, let's try to have another picture fade in. So I'm going to click on this picture now. Let's uh, drag it up to the video two layer, and I want to <clears throat> I want to kind of have it overlapping this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to opacity in the effects controls. Click on a keyframe once I align the current time indicator up with uh, the other picture or video. Hit a insert a keyframe. This reminds me of flash keyframes if you have any experience with the flash. And I'm going to drag it down and just to synchronize it with the other picture as one picture fades out, the other picture, the other picture is fading in. And this is the same concept if you have two videos. So we're going to hit the keyframe here. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to click on the first keyframe and click on it with the left mouse button, drag it down. So the idea is as one picture is fading out, the other picture is fading in. So hopefully you found this video insightful. Please uh, uh, rate, subscribe, comment, and uh, look forward to many more videos.